Hello friends, welcome to next lecture in kinematics of machines. Friends, in today's lecture, we will be seeing few examples on the tabular method of determining velocity ratio of epicyclic gear trains. Friends, in the previous lecture, we have already seen the method for determining the velocity ratio of epicyclic gear trains. So you can refer to the video which will appear on the YouTube iCard on the top right corner. So before we begin with the lecture, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for the latest notifications of the videos on this YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The links are in the description below. So friends, let's begin with the video lecture. Uh, students, in today's lecture, we will discuss about few examples on epicyclic gear train. In the previous lecture, we have already discussed about the procedure to how to go about with simple and compound epicyclic gear drain. So using the same methodology, we will be solving few examples. So the first example, as you can see on the screen, in an epicyclic gear drain, an arm carries two gears A and B having 36 and 45 teeth respectively. If the arm rotates at 150 rpm in anti-clockwise direction about the center of gear A, which is fixed, determine the speed of gear B. If the gear A, instead of being fixed, makes 300 rpm in the clockwise direction, what will be the speed of gear B? Students, now if you see, the question is straightforward. Sometimes such straightforward questions will not even have the diagrams like what you have here on your right hand side. So now for this particular problem also, the diagram will not be given in the question paper, but you need to draw this by reading the question. So by reading the question, we draw this diagram here and now we start our problem. So first step is to note down the given statement. So number of teeth on gear A, number of teeth on gear B, speed of arm C in this case is given. So now let us start with our tabulation procedure. So here we just draw the table with all those equations. So this is a simple epicyclic gear train. So here if you see the elements are arm B, gear A and gear B. Arm is fixed and gear A rotates through plus one revolution anti-clockwise. So this will be zero for arm A, gear A is plus one and gear B is minus TA by TB. Arm is fixed and gear A rotates through plus X revolution anti-clockwise. So arm B is zero, gear A is plus X and gear B is minus X into TA by TB. So we add Y revolutions to all the elements plus Y plus Y plus Y. So total becomes plus Y then X plus Y then Y minus X into TA by TB. So now speed of gear B when gear A is fixed. That is when gear A is fixed, what will be speed of gear B? Since the speed of arm is 150 RPM anti-clockwise, therefore from the fourth row of the table, Y will be equal to 150 RPM. Also the gear A is fixed, therefore X plus Y will be zero. So we can say X will be equal to minus Y. That is nothing but minus 150 RPM. So with this, what we can say is the speed of gear B will be Y minus X into TA by TB. So Y is plus 150 minus of X is minus 150. So minus of minus 150 becomes plus 150. TA is 36, TB is 45. So you substitute it comes to 270 RPM anti-clockwise and that is our answer. It is so simple, right? So now we will just increase the complexity level. So you have the next statement on your screen. So in a reverted epicyclic gear drain, the arm A carries two gears B and C and a compound gear 
BE. The gear B meshes with gear E and gear C meshes with gear D. The number of teeth on gear B, C and D are 75, 30 and 90 respectively. Find the speed and direction of gear C when gear B is fixed and then the arm A makes 100 rpm clockwise. So note down the given TB is 75, TC is 30, TD is 90 and NA is 100 rpm in clockwise direction. So the reverted epicyclic gear train as shown in the figure, first of all let us find out the number of teeth that is on the gear E that is TE. Let DB, DC, DD and DE be the pitch circle diameters of gear B, C, D and E respectively. So therefore from geometry of this figure DB that is diameter of B, DB plus DE. That is here we can take db plus de will be equal to dc plus dd right so db plus de will be equal to dc plus dd so, so this is the line passing through the centers of this two gears since the number of teeth on each gear for the same module are proportional to their pitch circle diameters so we can say TB plus T is equal to TC plus TD. Therefore, TE is equal to TC plus TD minus TB. So 30 plus 90 minus 75 and that is 45. So now let us draw the table here. So we have now four components, arm A, the compound gear DE, the gear B and gear C. So when arm is fixed and compound gear DE rotates through plus 1 revolution anti-clockwise, so arm A is fixed 0, so this is plus 1. Gear B will have minus T by TB and gear C will have minus TD by TC. These are simple gears, so you won't have that multiplication of the teeth of the other gear in this case. Arm is fixed now and the gear DE rotates through plus X revolutions anti-clockwise, so this becomes plus X. So here these two gears will rotate in clockwise direction. So we have minus x into T by T B and this is minus x into T D by T C. Now add y revolution to all the elements here. So plus y is added and this becomes 0 plus y is plus y, x plus y, y minus x into T by T B, y minus x into T D by T C. So once the tabulation is done we have all the equations necessary. Now we'll start here. Since the gear B is fixed, therefore from the fourth row of the table, that is y minus x into t by tb will be 0. Or y minus x into 45 by 75 will be 0 because t is 45 and tb is 75. So this we can say y minus 0 0.6 will be equal to 0. Also the arm A makes 100 rpm in clockwise direction. Therefore y is equal to minus 100. Substituting y is equal to minus 100 in this first equation we get. So here the term is at x is actually missing in this equation it is 0.6x. So minus 100 in minus 0.6x is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 100 by 0 0.6 which comes to minus 166.67. So from the fourth row of the table speed of gear C that is NC will be y minus x into TD by TC. We know y, we know x so substitute them TD is known, TC is known and that comes to 400 rpm. So plus sign indicates that gear C also rotates in counterclockwise direction. So this is another problem wherein you can try it similar to what is done previously and also the procedure to a similar problem is already given. So you can refer the procedure, you can refer this video and you can try solving this. that's all we have friends today in this youtube lecture so i thank you very much for patient hearing 
so before we end this lecture please subscribe to this youtube channel and follow us on our social networking pages and also these are few videos on this youtube channel which you can refer to so thank you very much friends